It's not just about what you guys are seeing, but if you guys can smell what's going on in here, that's the biggest thing, right? People concerned about the condition of the Manwin Hotel on Main Street walked in the front door. Aside from the pungent smell, people observed dark, dingy hallways, shared washrooms with missing doors, and suites locked from the outside with chains. Victor Mondaka with the Foot Patrol Group Sabe Peace Walkers says it's unacceptable. This isn't the way people should be treated. This isn't the way people should be living. Outside, people who joined a call for the hotel's closure drummed and danced. The Manitoba government ordered numerous repairs after a multi-agency inspection of the Manwin in late August. There will be a follow-up inspection later this month, but protest organizer Barb Guimon feels this residential hotel is beyond repair and wants it shut down. It's un uncomprehensible how can someone can live in here. It was temporarily closed in 2021 due to a lack of water and heat, on top of what provincial inspectors identified as issues with the minimum standards of housing in their most recent inspection. There's also crime. Police have been here for assaults, stabbings and two homicides so far this year. Outreach worker Vincent Lilly says poverty, addiction and violence are part of everyday life. I've been in these places before doing drugs in the past when I was in my dark, dark place and I know exactly the things that goes on in these places and it's very horrible the things that go on. Kat Roberts is a housing case manager with the West Central Women's Resource Centre. They work with people who are homeless, including one person who lives at the Manwin. Unfortunately, the Manwin is an example of kind of our current state of housing in Winnipeg, especially for low-income earners, uh, people on EIA especially. Robert says the tenant's $650 a month rent comes mainly from the Manitoba government through employment and income assistance. They feel there should be a higher standard for housing, given provincial money is going into housing people here. A provincial spokesperson says the province doesn't mandate where people live and is working with the Manwin's owner to have repairs made. They say the province remains committed to supporting people in their choices for housing and will continue to work with the owner of the building to bring it into compliance. The hotel's part owner, Akeem Kambamba, tells CBC people can protest, but he has no plans to shut down the Manwin. Josh Crabb, CBC News, Winnipeg. Do one more.